Hi, this is Ming Yao from Singularity Engineering, and in this video, I'll be looking at how do we turn ANSYS APDL scripts into parametric analysis in ANSYS Workbench, and how do we leverage uh, RSM if you want to run multiple simulations at the same time. Um, many of uh, my customers are using APDL to do very nice scripts that are fully parametric. However, running these parametric scripts on large clusters has always been challenging and managing data is always difficult as well. So here I'm going to show you how you can do all of this in Workbench to gain a lot of uh, uh, performance benefits. We're going to start with an SSAPDL uh, block here, which is under Component System. And we're going to add in this input. Uh, this is a standard input file from AP APDL. Double click on this, you can see all of the parameters that are involved in this analysis. Um, and this automatic goes in, picks out any parameters you have that you specify. For example, we can make power and angle here an input, and we can make, uh, uh, it also looks for start get commands uh, to, to define output parameters. So uh, I think maximum temperature, T max and T min, we can make these output parameters. Okay. So by defining the parameters, we have a, a parameter set already. And if we go ahead and run the simulation, or I can go ahead without looking at the script, you know, obviously you should test out this, your script, but I can just hit update all design points here, and it'll run the simulation for me uh, in the background. Okay, so the simulation is completed and we've returned a couple of variables. So you can see we've taken an APDL script, parameterized it, and ran, run the simulation. Next thing we can do is, for example, we can try a series of different temperatures. So let's say 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.8, and we can try some different angles, uh, 90, 60, 45, for example. So now I have a series of different simulations to run. Uh, I can run it, I can hit update design and this will run these one at a time. So this is very similar to what you do if you're doing a batch script. We can also click on this retain parameters box, which will save all of the result files uh, in, into, the, into the directories. Normally, once ANSYS finishes the simulation, we will throw away all of the resulting files to save room, but by clicking on this retain results, we'll save them all. Running them one at a time takes, uh, will take a little while to run all these simulations. So instead of running it one at a time, we can go to the parameter uh, space here, parameter set, and instead submit this to a remote solve manager. If you have RSM set up on a cluster, you can, you can push this to a queue and schedule the job. Uh, if you have a local computer, you can, schedule, you can just set it on a local computer. What you can do here is that instead of executing in serial mode, we can execute in parallel mode. Uh, you can specify how many cores per task you want to run, as well as how many tasks you want to run. Unfortunately, I'm on a, um, a six-core laptop here, so I can't show super impressive results, but you can easily set this to, for example, 10 simul... Um, we can run, for example, four cores on um, uh, and 10, 10 tasks. So if I have a 40 core machine, 41 core machine, I can max it out by running all of that there. Um, but I want to demonstrate it a little bit, so we'll do two and two. So this will use two cores to run each task, and but it'll run two tasks simultaneously. We can pick which licenses we want to use. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go with ANSYS Mechanical. It's a simple thermal analysis. So let's go with ANSYS Mechanical Professional license. And uh, now I can hit update all design points. And it's going to start running. Oh, I got to save this first. So let's go to mechanical. Um, oh, I called it APDL. Yeah. So the, we'll call this the cluster example. So now it's off and running. 
Now, now there's a few things here. We can monitor the, the, the job progress here. Oops. I really want to see this. So you can see it submitted a job. There's uh, one through six, five. So there's six, five jobs in total. Uh, job submission was successful. It shows you all of the files that have been moved over. And now it's running the simulation. Um, so it's checking out certain licenses here. And all of this takes one ANSYS license, ANSYS solver license, and a number of HPC licenses. If I check my ANSYS license management center, okay, so here it shows you that we're using 16 ANSYS HPC licenses. What it does is that for every simultaneous simulation you're using, it'll consume either 16 HPC, pack, HPC licenses or one HPC pack. So if I, I'm running two simultaneous simulations, therefore it'll normally consume two HPC packs or here 16 HPC licenses. Three will be three packs or 24 HPC licenses, so on and so forth. All right, so it's running here. Um, let's see if it's finished anything. It, it's not finished yet. I don't want this to run until completion because it'll take some time. I'll show you a few other things. Oh, it's collecting the results. I guess it's it's, uh, it's getting the some of the data now. Okay, so let's grab some data here from the simulation. Um, it's waiting for the rest to complete. So I'm going to abort this. Uh, another benefit of running these parametric analysis in Workbench is you have access to the full Workbench design exploration or parametric optimization suite. So we can do direct optimization if you're trying to find a particular parameter if you have a number of parameters and you want to f figure out what set of values will allow you to gain a certain output parameter, you can do that. The one I use most often is a response surface optimization. Here we can set up a design of experiment where we can vary the, the power from say 1 to 0 0.1 to 1 watt and we can do the angle from 0 to 90 degrees. We can do a preview and it'll create a design of experiment matrix for me automatically. Um, so I don't have to think about the design, creating the design of experiment. You can have customized experiment. You can have um, optimized space fillings, design, etc. The nice part about this is that it then will do a response surface optimization where we can create refinement points and we can, um, we can uh, do verification points and fit a curve to the resulting data and then finally we can even do some optimization look at trade-off studies and such so it's very powerful to this this video is designed to show you that you can take a traditional APDL input file which is this uh, um, APDL parameters input file bring that into ANSYS make it a parametric analysis uh, you can then use design optimization to do parametric, uh, to do response surface optimization, genetic algorithm based optimization, direct op optimization, or parameter correlations. Um, you can also use this to leverage the ANSYS RSM capabilities, which allows you to run multiple simulations at the same time, provided you have the right license setup and, uh, and the license uh, uh, server available. So that's it for this quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it, please like this uh, video and subscribe to our channel. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at www.singularityeng.com. Thanks and have a good day.